the last time we reviewed uh, Rollo May's book, and now we will take a look at Paul Tillich. I mean, Rollo May and Paul Tillich were very influential on each other. But one thing about um, Paul Tillich is that his theology, his way of understanding God, was very uh, dense because it wasn't just what we would expect of theology, knowing God. It also involved mysticism, which is more of a direct contact with God than having an arbitrary divider between you and God that, that makes the distance likable to reach. You have to have someone in between you and God to do that. That is the uh, usual way of looking at theology and because we look at Christ as the arbitrator between us and God, the one who helps us find God and brings God to us and us to God. But mysticism is not like that. Mysticism is what you call a direct experience of God without any dualism, without anything between whatsoever, a direct. And that brings you to God and God to you directly, both at the same time. Now, that's quite different from the usual way of looking at theology. Also, in that same vein, Tillich is influenced by a great Russian mystic, Jacob Bohm, who had that experience himself and then writes about it. And also in Bohm, you have this idea of ground or unground, or that is to say, the place before God existed that is the source of God. Now, that is a radical concept in theology, I must say. Also, we will say that he even goes back to Meister Eckhart, who is even more, let's say, radical in his understanding of that direct relationship between man and God. He was very, very uh, deep in that unknowable direct union. And Eckhart had a famous, very famous statement that he wrote in one of the things he said. He said that man and God see each other with the same eye. Now, that is a radical statement of genuine connection between man and God with no intermediary between, no dualism whatsoever. They are all the same, man and God. Man is in God and God is in man at the same time without an arbitrary interface between one or the other. So that's Tillich in his uh, section that is not in the usual theology, even in the normal Christian theology, you might say. Now, Tillich also has other things to write that you might expect, but about Revelation is also very interesting because Revelation through the Old Testament, for example, is having to do with events that actually happened and will happen because of the visionary experience, but is not as direct as the mystics. So there you have a slight problem in Tillich's work because he is saying, on the one hand, the great revealers of the truth of God in the Old Testament are the prophets. They are the ones that have much to do with what's right and wrong in the Hebrew world and straighten it out. But according to him, they are not as good as the direct experience explained by Jacob Bohm and Meister Eckhart. So we will continue with Paul Tillich shortly.